Hi, I'm Paula Broadwell, and I'm here today to speak about leadership lessons we can glean from the life of General David Petraeus. Baruch here with Gen Connect, joined today by Paula Broadwell, the author of All In, The Education of David Petraeus. How are you, Paula? I'm fantastic, thank you. Thanks for being here. It's wonderful to be here. When writing this book about David Petraeus, you really delved in, you had a great amount of access into David Petraeus' psyche. He's clearly an incredible leader, very successful leader. What are some takeaways that our viewers can use in their own lives and really extract from David Petraeus' success? That's a great question. Um, the, the book didn't become just a war chronicle. What I really wanted to frame it as uh, a strategic leadership portrait so that leaders from any industry could extract from it. And in summary, um, I think his philosophy is that leaders have to get the big ideas right. So whether that's in education, it's maybe not about no child left behind. Maybe it's about every child college ready. So we have to frame the problem right. For him, in Iraq, that was we had to focus on protecting the population. Um, so he says you got to get the big ideas right. You have to effectively communicate them to your organization, and that's um, throughout the breadth and depth, but also above, so that the folks that are resourcing your effort, for example, in his case, you know, the, the um, Pentagon or the White House, understand what you're trying to do and can uh, best meet your needs. But you have to also communicate the vision and intent to the lowest guy on the ground. So the soldier in the foxhole, in his case. But if you're a CEO. If the guys out on the line don't understand what you're trying to accomplish with your with your mission, they can't execute either. So get the big ideas right, communicate them to the force, then oversee their implementation. You can have a great big idea, you can tell everybody how to do it, but if you don't go out and check that it's happening on the ground and happening properly, um, you may still fail as an organization. And the fourth thing he would say is that you have to capture best practices and lessons learned and stop worst practices. So um, if you focus on organizational innovation and adaptation, and he who adapts fastest wins, as Sun Tzu says. Um, if you don't learn the right lessons and encourage your organization to learn and grow and share those practices across the force, then again, the enemy may, may adapt faster. What do you think is the single most important factor in General Petraeus' success? His drive. If I had to pick one thing, he's exceptionally um, talented um, and gifted. Uh, I think extraordinarily so. But he's just got this drive, and the drive is oriented towards service towards duty on our country, which is the, the mantra that we all learned at West Point. And he really puts the country and service before his family and himself. He's made many sacrifices. He spent the last eight years away from his family until he became CIA director. And that's because he believes in service above himself. Paula, thank you so much for sharing his amazing story with us. Thank you. Rick. And for more with Paula Broadwell and to learn more about her book, All In, The Education of David Petraeus, be sure to check out GenConnect.com.